Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal and today I'm really excited to be sharing with you the new kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing today, which is November 15th, 2020 at Feed Your Craft. These are so beautiful, so fun, and I want to dig in and share with you all the beautiful products that are releasing. So let's start with the kit. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Heba from the future. I wanted to stop my unboxing just to let you know that there is an ephemera pack that comes with the kit. I didn't have that ephemera pack to share with you, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys know this. The kit comes with a stamp set, the cards, and ephemera pack. So if you want to check those out, I definitely recommend to check out the website. I do have it linked down in the description box for you. So let's get back to my unboxing. Okay guys, so the kit that is releasing today at Feed Your Craft is designed by Inner Creative Bubble and it's called Celebrate Today. You get a four by six stamp set and it's beautiful. It's all about celebrating all the milestones, the birthdays, the anniversaries. You have so much fun, everyday victory, high five, celebrate the special day or this special day truly epic treating myself party time i love that one then you have the champagne glasses oh happy day i love that one with the beer cups really cute birthday cake really adorable i love stamp sets like this that you can use for anything and everything any kind of celebration let's check out the cards okay so this kit comes with four by sixes and three by fours so let's check them out I have this beautiful rainbow four by six so much fun all together i love that there's a lot of space to add some journaling on these gorgeous cards and then you have the three by fours which as which are as beautiful and i love there's one yeah i love this one make a wish so cute hooray i did this this is a good one for like documenting one of your kids milestones or your own happy birthday I love this. This is a good card to fill in the numbers for your birthday. So like my daughter turning 16, maybe fill out one and a six. Really, really cute kit. Really excited about this kit. I'm going to be using it in my project life today, um, documenting my daughter turning 16. So that's going to be fun. This was the perfect kit for that. But um, let's move on. I still wanted to share with you the add-on stamp sets. So this month, there's two add-on stamp sets. The first one is called uh, Take Action. Really love the stamp set. I can't wait to use it. It has the stand together, pay it forward. Then you have thank you, kind people are my kind of people, random acts of kindness, love, listen, learn. Such a good stamp set. Can't wait to use it on a traveler's notebook layout. This is another favorite here. I love the Apollo stamp set from Feed Your Craft. She has the uppercase and the lowercase inline outline, all the good stuff. So what um, Feed Your Craft did was create a different type of inline. Let me show you real quick because I have both stamp sets. Okay, so um, you have the inline and the outline for the Apollo stamp sets. And what happened was she changed up the inline or gave you a different option, let's say, which is a stencil style, really fun. I can't wait to use that. Look how cool that would look together. And I've been using these two in my Thankful 30, so it's gonna be nice to have a different option to add as titles in my Thankful 30. So this is a really good little add-on stamp set, especially if you like alphas, and especially if you like um, Feed Your Crafts Apollo Alpha Stamp. So anyways, those are the two add-on stamp sets that are releasing today. Uh, I'm going to use the kit to document my daughter's birthday. And if you want to see the process for that, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I totally forgot to press play and record my process. Thank God I caught it pretty quickly. But all I did was choose my cards and stamped week with the uh, Apollo... Uh, outline and the new stencil alpha and I'm going to go ahead and just finish up my spread while recording my process. Sorry about that. Now that we have this recording, let's start documenting my daughter's birthday week. 
Okay, you guys, now that I'm filming, we can move on to documenting week 44 in my project life. I went ahead and stamped out week 44. I'll also use the stamp set from the kit to stamp celebrate the special day. And I'm gonna use this title card uh, for journaling, but I'm not gonna like waste my time while filming to add my journaling but you'll get to see it at the end of this video in my photos. I also sized this photo to fit underneath this little title here. And it says this was truly special, so it worked out perfectly. And I'm going to use the stamp set to create my own embellishments. Now, like I said earlier, I did not get the ephemera pack with my kit. So I'm just going to use my stamps to create my own embellishments. You can definitely use different colored ink pads to you know change it up a little bit but because my spread is very colorful i'm gonna stick to black ink uh, just to mute down all that color but uh, again you can definitely use different ink pads to create your own embellishments for your spread i love this stamp that says it's time to celebrate and it had the birthday cake so obviously I was going to use it for this photo and it was just a photo of my daughter's cupcakes and she wanted the number 26 on her cupcakes. I don't know why. I guess it's an inside joke with her friends. So I got her candles that said 26 so she can be happy. So if anybody's wondering why does it say 26, that's why. I decide I want to just add a little bit of stamping to this 3x4 card. So I grabbed the stamp set, I end up stamping make a wish, it had the little candle in the center, really cute, just to kind of change up the color because it's so yellow. So I end up just grabbing a half a circle puffy sticker and adding that to my card. And I end up adding a lot of puffy stickers to this spread again because I did not have the ephemera pack and puffy stickers are a great way to add texture. Now moving on to this photo of my daughter blowing out her candles. I really wanted the number 16 to be bold and big. So I went with the Paper Person's Highline number stamp. I love this number stamp. I just ended up stamping it on white paper and I'm gonna fill it out with yellow ink. Now at first I thought I would go with red, but that red ink was just so bold and in your face. It just wasn't working for me. So I just end up you know, going back to my first thought of going with yellow ink and letting it match my spread and that's fine. I can always use my puffy stickers to bring in red to the opposite side of my spread. Once I'm done stamping 16, I'm just going to grab my little mini scissors and trim out these numbers. So the center of the six, what I usually do, I just poke a hole with my scissors in the center and I trim around it. It's much easier than using your X-Acto knife. I mean, you could definitely use your X-Acto knife, but I think it's just faster. I have my scissors on hand, so I'm just going to literally poke a hole in the center and then just cut around it. I simply love how those numbers pop against the black and white photo of my daughter. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that down. I'm actually gonna grab the stamp set again. There was a stamp that said super excited. So I'm gonna end up stamping that in my number, like number one, and it was it fit perfectly. It was just like it was made for it. So I end up just stamping it in that. I was working on my spread I felt like there was so much yellow on the right side of my spread so I ended up just flipping uh, around my photos my bottom two photos that way my daughter and her banana friend <laughs> were on the opposite side but anyways we'll get to that story later I went ahead trimmed out the banner that I stamped out earlier and I just added it to the corner of this photo of my daughter and while I have my puffy stickers out I thought it was a good time to add a little red to that three by four photo just to bring in red to the right side of my spread and I add a red puffy heart to her photo as well. So for my daughter's birthday we decided to let her have a few friends over and they got to spend some quality time together. I snapped these two photos of them 
and I added some journaling. I created this little collage and I just wanted to add a little something right above my journaling so that yay worked perfectly. It's from an old Studio Calico kit. And again, adding a little something to my other journaling card, I ended up using another half circle. Using the same embellishment on your spread really helps everything flow. So that's why sometimes I stick to the same embellishment over and over again. But anyways, I'm almost done. I just wanted to document this collage of photos of my daughter and her best friend. They've been friends since the first grade. He came wearing a banana suit and my daughter's nickname is Banana. So it was adorable and cute. Just ended up adding some word stickers and called my layout done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!